We need to stop giving men excuses, and here's what I mean. Hello, my name is Carla, and restoring healthy mindsets is my thing. A man will know what he wants with you from day one. He will either want to be in a full committed relationship, or he will want an experience with you. If you're anything like me, I hate wasting time, and I don't like to be someone's experience. Why is this relevant? When I was describing girlfriend and wife material, a lot of you seem to confuse it for me describing toxic and non-toxic relationships or a partner. But no, that's not what I mean. Men will automatically know if they just want you to be their girlfriend or their wife. Long-term committed relationship. And believe me, they know. If you look through my comments, you'll find that most men are agreeing with everything that I'm saying. So ladies, if you've been with a man for one or two years and your goal is marriage and he has not proposed to you, leave because notice that once a guy is in a full committed relationship for x amount of years nothing serious comes out of it they become domestic partners or just regular boyfriend and girlfriend but as soon as the man breaks up with that woman and he ends up finding another woman tell me why he ends up marrying that girl within like a couple of months that's simply because they know what they want out of you so us as women need to decide if we are wasting our time or not because men know from day one, what they want out of you. Ladies, I'm going to be honest with you. And um, I'm probably breaking bro code by even sharing this, but I have to be be honest. As a man, I'm speaking as a man here, we know very early on, very early on, what our intentions are for you. That means after date one, date two, we know if your wife material, girlfriend material, and we're hunters. So we go after what we want. We will not waste time. If we want you, we will do what we have to do to get you, to have you. Because we're men, that's what we do. If he's stringing you along, ladies, if it's been months and he hasn't committed to you, he's not calling you his girlfriend, or if it's been years and he hasn't proposed to you, it's because he doesn't want you like that. I'm telling you right now, do not waste your time on men like that because we will do whatever you allow us to do. And if you allow us to string you along to play with you, that's exactly what we will do. So if you want a future, if you want a family, then you need to date men who have good intentions for you, who want the same things, who have the same values. Because once again, we will play with you if you let us play with you. Don't do it. Men know almost immediately if they want to marry you and spend the rest of their life with you. Like these men know almost within a few months of meeting you if they want to spend their life with you. Like it may be hard to believe, but men know. Like they know, know. Like they will not only show it, but they psychologically know. Like like I've asked men that I know, I've asked my boyfriend and he was like, yeah, we know if we want to marry you or not. And I'm like, damn. They can show it through their actions, their words, them telling you they want to spend their time with you. And like, if they're just not talking about their future with you, honestly, cut them off. If a guy is not willing to talk about his future with you, that means he doesn't see one, which means you're wasting your time with this guy because he is literally just stringing you on and keeping you until he finds someone that he wants to marry. I've heard different rules, like there's a three month rule, there's a six month rule. I've heard guys say they know almost instantly when they want to marry someone, but all of these literally apply. Like some guys, it may take longer than others, but like most men know almost instantly if you're the one for them. Obviously take this with a grain of salt. This is just what I know. This is just what I've heard and I've experienced, but love you guys. And any man who tells you it takes them longer than two to three months is absolutely lying to you because so many men have come in my comments when I've talked about this exact thing that confirm they knew easily within the first couple of dates if they wanted to marry the person that they were dating or if they just saw that as like friend material, not going anywhere, just like a fling, whatnot. And again, just because a man knows early doesn't mean he's going to propose in like two or three months. Unless that's what you want and what you've talked about, because I've seen so many people come in my comments that said I was engaged within a couple of months and they're living happily ever after. They're still going to go through the proper dating processes, even when they knew. My fiance said he knew easily within the first couple dates that he wanted to marry me. And he was just like making sure that everything else lined up before we really fully started talking about futures together. Again, you will never have to convince the right man to want to be with you and to want to marry you if marriage is what you want or to be in a long-term relationship with you if you just want long-term partnership. You will never have to convince the right man of any of that because he's just going to want to do it willingly because he wants to be with you. So to any women who might be out there and is asking themselves this question of wondering what if, if you have made your intentions clear from the beginning, you will never have to convince your partner. If they're not giving you that, if they're not moving towards that right direction, they're not the one for you and you need to walk away. I've heard this before. Men who meet their future wives 
They usually normally know the first time they meet someone whether or not they're going to marry them. It's sort of like this gut feeling that comes over guys and it's a combination of timing, the type of person they're looking for, the physical attractiveness, and like that spark and compatibility. It's sort of a blend of all these amazing things that makes chemistry. I've often heard from guy friends that they knew the moment that they met the woman that they were going to marry, they knew that they were going to marry her. But they still waited and dated and courted because those things are important because it shows a person, the woman that they're dating, that they value them and that they want to present the best version of themselves to them. Every man knows exactly what he wants and every man knows the woman he wants to be with when he meets her. Ladies, welcome to the Daddy Academy. When a man meets a woman that he's crazy about, first of all, he's gonna tell the boys. The boys know right away and we're like, oh yeah, here we go. And if he's healthy, healthy masculine, he's kind of done the work, he, he's in a good place, he is going to pursue. He's gonna take you out at least once a week. The communication's gonna be consistent. You're gonna feel safe. You're gonna feel all those good feelings. By two months, by three months, in between that time, you'll probably be together. Every man that I know that is engaged, married right now, this is exactly how it went. Exactly how it went. And even people who I know are in relationships, that's exactly how it went. Okay, when a man knows what he wants, when a man meets a woman that he knows, this is girlfriend material, this is someone who I wanna be with, he is going to try. Okay, you might say something like, well, Nico, what if he has anxious attachment? What if he has traumas? What if he has anxiety, depression? It's like, well, then he will screw it up somehow. Okay, think of scenarios like this where you've been going out with a guy and you dump him because he did something weird or whatever and he's texting you things like, I miss you, you're the love of my life, I wish we were together. It's like, okay, he still knows what he wants. He just screwed it up, you see what I mean? He still knows what he wants. He still knows that he wants to be with you. Okay, you might even say something like, oh, what about guys who are avoiding attachment? What about those guys? It's like, well, if they are so avoiding attachment that they can't have a relationship right now, then those people are out of the conversation. Until they do the work where they're able to have one, then we can talk, but to that point, like, until they're there, they're, there's no point, they're not in this conversation. So ladies, my whole point of my page, a lot of the points of this page, and like what I'm saying right here is that you will have a really good feeling about a guy who is pursuing you in this way that he, you know, you'll know his intentions are pure and that he wants to try to take this relationship as far as it can go, whether that's being boyfriend and girlfriend or maybe it doesn't work out, but like off the bat, within those first month or two, like there's a different vibe from a guy that's pursuing you in this way versus kind of like a situation ship or a guy with a roster. Like when a guy knows and he's taking you seriously like that, he'll cut out the other women after that first month, probably maybe even sooner, okay? I'm saying a month just to kind of be safe here, but like he will be taking you very seriously and you will feel like there's probably nobody else he's talking to. It's probably just me. When a man knows what he wants, when a man knows a woman that he wants, he is going to attack it in this way. Good luck out there, ladies. People say it takes guys a couple months to know if they want to date you. I totally disagree. I think it takes guys days, maybe even hours. Here's the story of how my boyfriend and I met. My boyfriend and I were both out at the bars with our groups of friends on a Friday night. We're both at the same bar, but we never even spoke while we were there. It's closing time. My girlfriends met a group of guys and they were like, hey, let's go back on the party bus with these people that'll take us back to Scottsdale. It's a free ride. We were on the same bus and we still did not speak. We get to the area where the bus is dropping us off and the group of guys asks if we want to head back to one of their apartments for a little bit and hang out now that most of the bars were about to close. I honestly really wanted to go home, but I was with two of my friends that had just moved here and I didn't want to leave them by themselves. Everyone's at the apartment just like mingling and drinking and I was kind of just sitting there. This guy comes up and sits down on the ground right next to me while I'm in a rolly chair and introduces himself to me. Next thing I know, we're sitting there talking about our careers and our dreams, what our families are like, what we want out of a family. Eventually, I look at my phone to see what time it is and it's 4.30 a.m. We'd been sitting in the middle of this apartment room with all these people just talking with each other for hours. I tell him, I'm like, oh my God, I gotta go. I gotta get home to my dog. I would never stay out this late. So he is trying to then get me an Uber so that I can go home. There were literally no Lyfts or Ubers available at that time and both of us had been drinking so nobody was driving me home. So he offers to let me stay at his place. And I looked at him and I was like, do not think that that means that we're hooking up or doing anything. And look where we are now. <laughs> 
was like, okay, no worries. You can even sleep in my bed and I'll sleep on the couch. Back to his place, I meet my lovely son, Grizz. That's his dog, that's not my dog too. We end up staying up till 9 a.m. talking. Then he drove me home. We get up to my front door and he was like, uh, I just realized I don't have your number. Can I get it? So I give him my number. And two days later, we go on our first date. I should do a separate video talking about our first date because what he did was so cute. Rush me to get ready. Go faster, go faster. Then months later, we are just like laying in bed and I'm looking at his phone calendar. I'm looking at the month of July and and he had written Matt Taylor Mathis in his phone on the day we met. And when I asked him why he did that, he said he knew it was because it was always going to be a special day in his life. Girls, guys know fast. Do not let them drag you around for months. Ladies, a man already knows what category he's going to place you in the moment that he meets you. So there's no need for you to go out your way to try to be this person because immediately when they meet you, they perceive you on Instagram, TikTok, whatever social media site that you have. That's the way that they judge you and that's the category they're going to put you in. So if they say, oh, she looks like that's the type that I want to be with, that's the girl that he's going to be with. If he looks at you and says, oh, I just want to mess around, have a good time with her, that's the category you're going to be in. Men know within the first month what it is that he's going to do and at the first glance what it is that he wants from you. So if a man is continuously stringing you along and it's been four, six, seven, eight months and this man ain't asked you to be his girlfriend, a man knows... A man knows. It doesn't take him two years. It doesn't take him five years. It doesn't take him 15 years before he marries you, before he sees some true commitment with you. And other. And if he's not showing you that, it's because he's not interested. And let that man go, sis. You're wasting your time. The first month of meeting a girl. Yeah, to some degree, yeah. I mean, like, to be honest, we usually know what we're interested in a girl for within the first few minutes of meeting her. Like, it's usually just sexual in nature. Like, I would say probably, like, damn, like, 99.9% of the times it's just sexual in nature. So we're just interested in, like, getting to know her and seeing if we can smash. This is, this is like, the first, that's the first prerequisite. After that, it's just kind of like, okay, once we gotten to know her, oh, damn, this girl has a dope personality. All right, let me reevaluate that just wanting to smash now. <laughs> That's kind of how we think. So within a month, if we talk to you consistently for like a month, yeah, we would know whether or not we want to date you or we want to like um, at least make you our girlfriend or something like that. And dating you doesn't necessarily mean you're our girlfriend. Apparently, in this day and age, 2021, 2022, you know, 21st century dating is not like that it could be dating could be like yo we're just talking so it's like okay i just talked to you maybe on occasions we kiss we we you know we do bedroom activities sneaky link activities stuff like that but for the most part we cool enough to not be sneaky links but we not yet right there to be relationship yet and we're not at that friends with bennies yet because we haven't had enough sexual interactions to be like okay we friends with bunnies you now so it's more like we're having sex but we're also not um what you call it we're not in a relationship so it's like yeah that's problematic for most guys that do like you but yeah no most guys will openly be like yeah no nah, i want this i want this and this and this we usually tell our homeboys like we tell our boys like most of my boys usually like once I usually talk to my boys, I usually tell them what's up and what I want to do with certain girls. Um, so like most girls, they be out here thinking they got friends and stuff. Nah. Most girls don't got male friends. Nah, guy friends. Nah, very unlikely unless that guy is either gay or like you so far away that it's just kind of like it is what it is. Or maybe like he grew up with you, so he can't see you that way.